Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Exercise 5.2 Remedy and Factor Theorem. Uh, kindly watch exercise 5.1, the previous video, so that you can understand this what we are doing in this exercise after uh, to find the remainder and factor theorem. So let's start. Number one, question number one, part A. Uh, the, this expression is divided by this. So it means that I have to write x plus 1. This is the normal method what we do in mathematics like 8, 4x7, plus 3x5, and plus x4 and 3. So this is the divisor and when we divide here, that's we can do the simple and we can get the remainder. But this method is normally we do not you need to use this method. The method is what? But in the remainder and factor theorem, what we write, we write this function fx is equals to the complete x8 minus 4x power 7 plus 3x power 5 plus x4 and plus 3. Now what we need to do is we need to divide this expression by x plus 2. With x plus 2. x plus 2. So what we do? This x plus 2 we can write x plus sorry x plus 1 is equal to 0 and x is equal to minus 1. This minus 1 I need to substitute here. Okay, let's see. When I substitute f like x is minus 1, so minus 1 power 8. This is the way we can find or it's minus 1. This is the way we can find the remainder, like this is the complete method to use, and we get the remainder here. So remainder is same as here. Okay. So plus 3 minus 1 power 5 plus minus 1 power 4 and 3. So the uh, we can write that when you substitute minus 1 is coming, uh, even power is positive, odd power is negative, and this is minus 4. In odd power is negative, this is coming, sorry, this is negative and negative is positive 4. This is plus is minus 3, and this is positive 1, and then plus 3. When you simplify this, the answer is coming 6. So it means the remainder of the first part a is 6 when we divide the remainder is coming here 6 okay so we do not need to do the long uh, division actually doing the b part it's very simple uh, from this part you have to find that what we need to put the value like 2 minus x is equals to 0 and x equals to 2 it means we need to substitute 2 in the given equation which is here b part like uh, we can write the function so i need to put substitute 2 here i am putting the whole value in this expression very simple let's see so the 2 2 minus 1 power is 4 bracket open minus 2 into 2 and whole square plus 2 squared and minus 3 this 2 2 minus 1 is 1 power 4 is 1 2 times 2 is 4 minus is minus 3 power is square plus 2 squared is 4 and minus 3 when we simplify this minus 3 squared is positive 9 9 times 1 and 2 is 18 and this result is coming 1 and the answer is coming 19 uh, the first answer is 6 and second answer is 19 you can see from here uh, Question 5 into 6 and 19. Okay, moving to part C. In C part, uh, first of all, we need to get the value of x to substitute. So, when this is written only x, it means we need to put x equals to 0. And when we substitute in C part, the x equals to 0 is coming. 3 times 0 plus 4 whole square minus 1 minus 0 cube and when we substitute after the simplification when we simplify is coming 4 square is 16 minus 1 cube 
is coming 48 minus 1 is coming 47. You can compare the result is coming 47, right? Then we can move to part D to find the remainder. So this is the way that we can find the remainder of any of the algebraic expressions 2x plus 1. This 2x plus 1 will be equal to 0 first. And from that, you can get the value of x. This is minus 1 upon 2. And we need to put this value in the given expression, this one. So let's see, what's the result? So when we substitute minus 1 upon 2 0 0.5, you can use minus 0 0.5. So 2 multiply by minus 1 upon 2. I just need to put the value in the given equation plus 6 times. 3 plus 4 into minus 1 upon 2 and minus 10. We just need to simplify now. 2 is minus 1 minus 1 whole cube. And it's coming 6. And 2 times 3 minus 2 and power is squared here. And minus 10. So it's coming minus 2 cube and 6. Is only 1 square and minus 10. When we simplify, it's coming minus 8 plus 6 and minus 10. And it's coming minus 16 and it's coming minus uh, 18 is minus 12. If you see, was well, the answer is coming minus 12, right? So uh, we have done question number one, all the parts. Moving to next part, question number two. In question number three, if k is this, like leaves a remainder of k, okay, leaves a remainder of k means, please be careful, when I substitute the value here, x minus 2, the remainder is k, it means I need to, this equation, when I substitute uh, x minus 2, question number 2 is equal to 0, x equals to 2, okay, when I substitute 2 here in the equation, 2 q plus 3, 2 square minus k times 2 and plus 4, the result will be coming k. This is the remainder. Remember, when you substitute any of the value and the remainder is given, we have to write equal to that remainder. Remainder, and remainder is k. This is the way we can just simplify now. 8 plus 4 is 12 minus 2k and plus 4 is equal to k. Now, just we need to assemble the equation. Is 24 is equals to k plus 2k. So, 3k is equals to 24 and k is equals to 8. We got the value of k as 8 and we can just compare the answer from here. This is 8. So, question number 3. Whenever the remainder is given like this expression leaves the remainder of 3. So, it means equal to 3 and I would like to put the value x minus p is equals to 0 means x equals to p. And the remainder is 3. Okay, 6 in this equation, 6p square minus 2 times p plus 3 is equal to 3. Now, what we need to simplify, we need to find the value of p of 6p square minus 2p and this 3 when we move the right hand side is coming 0. The common is 2p and 3p minus 1 is equal to 0. 2p is equal to 0 and 3p minus 1 is equal to 0. Factorization p is 0 and p is equal to 1 upon 3. We got two values when we can compare the results. 0 and 1 upon 3, you can see 5.2 question number 4. Moving to next question, uh, number 4. In question number 4, you can see this expression is divided by this. So from this, I can get the value like x plus 2a is equal to 0 and x is equal to minus 2a. This, when we divide by this, we have to find like making equal to 0 and get the value of x to substitute. But the remainder is coming 32. Like this is the same way we are doing uh, in the equation, we substitute minus 2a. The question is like same, uh, normally class 11 or 10 students uh, like uh, do not require to like all the solution, the whole solution actually. 
but class 9 students who are doing admas first time they need all the solution and they ask always to me so please make the video with the whole solution so i'm making for them the square minus 14 and a power 4 remainder is 32 now just we need to simplify even power always positive remember when the negative term in the even power the result is always positive so in this way uh, is coming 16 a power 4 first minus cube means odd negative effect so negative 8 x cube then here minus 2 squared is positive 4 4 times 2 is 8 and cube minus 14 a power 4 is equals to 32 cancel out negative positive 16 a 4 this is coming 2 a 4 is equals to 32 a power 4 is equals to 16 so in this situation uh, is also given find the possible values of a this is like uh, we should know okay when uh, we write here plus minus this is when we take the cube uh, uh, fourth power here so it's coming plus minus first of all when i write square here is coming plus minus 16 is 4 and when we move further it's coming under root 4 and remember when you have like minus 4 it's not possible so that's why only this value is enough and it's coming plus minus 2 so right answer is a equals to 2 and a equals to minus 2 we have two possible values we can compare the results answers question number 4 you can see 5.24 is plus minus 2 next question is uh, about question number 5 you can see in question number 5 when this is divided by x plus 3 remainder is 9 so what we can do that from x plus 3 from x plus 3 is equal to 0 x equals to minus 3 i need to put the value a x is minus 3 square plus b minus 3 minus 6 the remainder is 9 this is the first step minus 3 substitute it will be substitute the value and is equal to 9 second is given find in terms of a only the remainder of this okay uh, first of all, we need to simplify the first part. Then we okay. If I do the second part also here, x minus two. Okay, so x minus two equal to zero and x equals to two. And I just substitute the value here. Two x is two cube minus b x is two square plus two times a into x is two minus four. The remainder is uh, okay. Find the, in terms of a only the remainder when this okay we need to find the remainder actually okay let's see in this part uh, is coming 9a minus 3b minus 6 is equals to 9 okay in terms of a means i have to make b as a subject here first of all i need to put the b here in this equation like b so 9a minus 3b is equals to this is coming 15 when i put the uh, right substitute uh, move 6 and right inside okay the whole equation when i divide this whole equation by 3 what will happen 3 we can do it 3a minus only b is equals to 3 times 5 is 15 so b is equals to b right inside 5 here so 3a minus 5 i need to put this value in the second equation but let me simplify first because we need to find the remainder means this is the remainder 2 cube is 8 to 16 minus 4b plus 4a and minus 4. We are finding the remainder, just put the value 16 minus 4. We need to put the value of b. b is 3a minus 5 and plus 4a minus 4. 16 minus 12a minus minus is plus 20 plus 4 a minus 4 so it's coming 16 and 20 uh, and then minus 4 is 32 i think so yeah and 
minus 12 and this is coming minus a a so this is the remainder let me check the answer answer is coming 32 minus 8 we are right good so by this way uh, i have done question number one till question number five definitely next video i will continue uh, like question number six onward i hope that this video is useful for you please share with your friend uh, especially for the class fellows thank you so much and have a nice day